Welcome to Spider Auto. Today we're making a headlight installation video for years 2013 to 2018 Dodge Ram. Only tools needed for this install is a panel popper, quarter inch ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket. Now let's get started. Moving to the passenger side wheel, we're gonna move one push pin here to open up this cover and we could reach in and release a latch that's securing the headlight. So grab your panel popper I'm going to remove the push pin. Flip open the cover. I'm going to release the latch by pushing up. Now do the same to the other side. Next, after you open up the hood, we're going to remove the radiator shroud secured by six plastic push pins. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. But since we have an aftermarket grill, we only have four. It's missing these two here. So going to remove the four plastic push pins. Going to remove your radiator shroud, set it to the side. This next step, we're going to remove four 10 millimeter bolts securing the top of the grill. Next, we're gonna unseat the grill. Go ahead and unclip the sides. And then carefully set it aside. Before we get started on the headlight, let's apply masking tape right here on the bumper to prevent any scratches. Next, using your 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna move two bolts, one here and one up here. Next, we're gonna unseat the headlight. Behind the headlight, there's a ball joint lodged in here. So we're gonna grab the headlight right here firmly. And we're gonna carefully pull it straight back. So this is the ball joint that falls into this slot here. And then this piece here clips in here. This is the latch to lock it, Just move it down to unlock it, move it up. For this next step, we're going to disconnect the harness. So this is the main connector, go ahead and press down on the tab, disconnect. Now we're going to repeat the same process to the other side. Go ahead and bring over your spider headlight, plug in your harness. Make sure the connector is secure. Now we're gonna carefully seat our headlight. Now from here, we're gonna carefully press back on the headlight to lock the ball joint in. This next step, we're gonna pull the latch down to lock the headlight. After that, we're gonna put the cover back on. And then put the push pin back on. Next, we're gonna reinstall our two 10 millimeter bolts.
Now that we're finished with the passenger side, let's repeat the same process to the driver's side. Let's clip our grill back in place. Next, reinstall your four 10 millimeter bolts securing the top of the grill. Next, reinstall the radiator shroud. And then connect the four plastic push pins. Now that we're finished with the installation, let's close the hood and test the headlight functions. 